Arrow. Well, nothing tastes so delicious. Nothing tastes so... Picked up quickly by Schwoss. There's a chance for North now. Yes, they're moving the ball well. Lesser putty. Fires it up towards the goals. Brindley in front. He's been moving all over the field. Here's Ross, though. The best and fairest winner into the open goal. And he's hit the post. Well, it would be great. North Melbourne trailing by two behinds. And Big Monk, who sets himself, no, he couldn't take the mark. Good it was mark. a good mark at the back of the pack by the North Melbourne player down there. It appears that player is Holmes. Don't know it's Robbie not. Kerr. It's Robbie Kerr. Too far out to score. The 15 metres might help him. It brings him within the 50 metre mark, which uh, he'll kick from about the 50 metre mark, Robbie Kerr. I did say the breeze is favouring that end, although the flags are uh, fluttering around a bit, moving from one direction to the other. But a lot of goals have been kicked. Eight goals, four at this left of screen at the... Uh, Richmond end, that's a good looking kick off the boot, that's a goal, that's through, for, uh, that's the second time I've been. That's the same trick again, goes straight for the bounce after putting it off his boot and drives it onto the member's side of the ground, Munker is setting himself, the ball tapped to the turf, Collingwood leading in the race for the ball but a good tackle applied by John O'Donoghue and the Collingwood player pin for holding the ball and that's Krasiska, O'Donoghue gets it moving quickly, Rock up to centre half forward, Rysulikas, can he pick it up? He's got three opponents here. Now Ross coming through the pack again, but this time it's picked up by Smith. Smith drives it out to the member side again, and the mark taken by Brown. He directs play inboard, and that was a good pass, finding a teammate in Terry Keyes. Keyes wants to play on quickly. His kick wasn't a good one. Put fall under pressure, but he was good enough to dodge around. Takes a bounce at centre half forward. He's running through. Gets a hand pass loaded off now. Coming through very strongly with Stagg. He brushed the tackle. Got it over to a teammate. And that's four points to Collingwood. Excellent play moving the ball down the ground. And that was Bolton kicking his first goal. North Melbourne coming away from the half-back line now. Picked up by Douglas. Douglas up to half four. Oh, good mark at the back to Brindley, who's played an excellent game for the Magpies. As I said, he's been all over the place. Ten kicks. And, of course, he has one goal. And when he kicked that one goal, he was either playing in the back pocket or at full back. Good shepherding work there, allowing Lamont to go into the centre of the ground. Lamont's played well also, Peter. Taking that hand pass away and now driving into the half forward zone, looking for a teammate. Can't find one as yet. Kerr of North Melbourne picking up. Taking plenty of time to get rid of the ball and finish the game. Going to lose it in a moment. He's looking for a hand pass now to get it, uh, get North into attack. The hand pass went out to Shoal. He moves it out. North Melbourne are using handball, not using it that well either. Collingwood more direct in their approach to goal. There's a chance for Collingwood to take the ball away. So Bennett got the hand pass away. And uh, Collingwood up to the half forwards or up to the wing position. And uh, it's going to be turned back now by North Melbourne. But William, is it? Yes, so into the half forward zone. North Melbourne need a goal to get back into it. And that's a good, uh, a good mark taken by O'Donoghue. John O'Donoghue, 50 metres out from goal, should take the shot at goal. He's within kicking distance, I would think, because the breeze should help him if he can get the ball up high enough. O'Donoghue's kick, fairly low trajectory, and it's hit oh. the post again. So North Melbourne, two attempts in this term for two posters, which doesn't help their cause very much. Collingwood, 6-6-42, North Melbourne, 5-6-36. So only one goal between the teams, but... It's going to be hard to pick that up. Playing on from full back again is Kroll. He goes it up towards Monkhurst, who's done well. Can't take that one, though. Been picked up by Kerr, 50 metres out from goal. North Melbourne go forward again. It's into the square. It's up there. It's a mark to North Melbourne right in the goal square. And I think from this position that Martin should kick this goal. He did uh, kick one goal earlier in the game and uh, missed what I thought should have been a goal. But this one, I don't think he could miss. North Melbourne... A chance to level the score with Collingwood. We've been, been playing nearly seven and a half minutes. Dead in front. Martin goes goalward. He puts it through. And the umpire said... The centre again. Right. So North Melbourne. After losing their confidence probably for a little while, that'll be a free to Collingwood for a high tackle. But they're bouncing back now. But the Magpies certainly providing plenty of opposition. And that's number 12 in Bolton. Bolton's kick is a high one and the Magpies have front position and that mark is taken by John Markov who kicked Collingwood's first goal, in fact their only goal in the first term and he'll kick the ball from just inside the 50 metre line. It'll need to be a pretty good kick from here. Well it's where he kicked the first one from Peter. I think he'll make the distance. The man on the march going back a bit but Rakoff, you'll notice the way he follows through with his kick too. He gets see all that follow through. A good kick indeed. Good length. 
And I would say oh. it's a goal. Yeah, it's a very good goal picked by John Rapp off of his second. I like the way he's there once again. Can North Melbourne reply? We're approaching the 10 minute mark of the third quarter of the under 19's grand final. Beautifully intercepted by Ross from the hand pass from Lamont. He dodges around, tried to do a bit too much, but he got it to O'Donoghue, who has a ping at the goals, but his shot is just off target and through. See what happened out there, but uh, he's taking a long time to get up off the ground. And how it's out there on uh, North Melbourne's half forward zone. The umpire said a bounce will take place. Darren Douglas of North Melbourne, the blonde headed player. There's the man on screen now who went down. That looks like Chris Isca, is it? I think so, yeah. Yeah, it was in the hands of the training staff of Collingwood. And uh, can't actually see what's wrong with him. And North Melbourne trying to get the ball back into attack. He went through the screen pretty quickly on that occasion. The chance for North Melbourne. The ball with Holmes. Holmes about 15 oh. metres out from goal. But, oh, straight across the face of Partridge getting a short kick upfield. A tick taken by Lamont. And I mentioned earlier, played very well. Now Brown of Collingwood playing on. The left foot pass going right across the centre square. Finding Monkhurst, who did well to take that mark. Monkhurst hand passing on, moving it to Brown, who's covering plenty of ground, getting it down to the half forward zone, and a good mark taken down there by a fellow by Stag. Reminds me a lot of Renee Kink to the Collingwood fans at home. Even the way he moves and the way he kicks. Stag, long kick right up into the goal square. The man at the back was four, but the North defence punch it through for one point, so it's a goal of difference now. And he does move a bit like Renee King, Peter. He does. <laughs> Got that same build, too. So he wouldn't exactly be over endowed with pace, and I'm sure Renee wouldn't mind us saying that. Of course, Renee featured prominently in the grand final marathon last year. Some of those great Collingwood grand finals of years gone by. Uh, last night here on seven. Here's the kick out off the ground by North Melbourne, hugging the boundary line. Points at quarter time, and Collingwood led by three points at half time after a good second quarter and Collingwood do appear to be doing more with the ball than North Melbourne but who knows this is McWilliam of North Melbourne on the half back line going up toward the wing position on the outer side where players will set themselves and Rakoff at the well back judged. Was a, it wasn't Rakoff at all it was Paul Smith Paul Smith with the ball it touched off the boot now 15 metres against North Melbourne team for that so Smith will come right up to the wing position and I would think the ball will land after he kicks it somewhere about 40 metres out from goal because that's where they're assembling now. If the wind is blowing the way we think, Jack, it's certainly been a good quarter so far by Collingwood and if they can maintain this advantage coming home with the breeze in the final term, well, North are going to find it hard to overcome them. But still, we've got a long way to go and there's only a few points in it. Yeah, well, here's a chance for Rizoulikas to uh, have a shot at goal. He has kicked one goal. Athos Rizoulikas of the Collingwood under-19 side, number 11. Going to take the shot at goal from 50 metres out. This might give us an idea, too, of just uh, how the breeze is blowing. Rizulik has came from Layla to Collingwood. Good-looking kick, too. That's a goal. That is a good kick. So... Six, seven. It's Collingwood by 12 points. Interchange for Collingwood sees McGuane come onto the ground and Collingwood back up into attack again. The bounce just uh, eludes more. O'Donoghue gets a hand pass to Ross who paddles it between his legs and then gets a hand pass working to McWilliam. McWilliam up towards full forward. Leading out under the ball. Here's a chance for North Melbourne's Martin. Martin puts it onto the boot. He's popped it through. 7-7. Seven, seven. North trailing by six points. Willock's up high, beaten though by Glowry. Glowry with the ball, tries to get it out, can't do so, and the umpire will come in and bounce. This umpire is Ron Thompson, his co-umpire is Hayden Kennedy, and it's nice to see the son of a former umpire, Andrew Coates, is the emergency umpire for today's under-19 grand final. That's Ian Coates' son. Ian Coates' son. Mm. So the ball in the centre square still, and the man who got, got it moving now for the hit out, he got the tap down too, couldn't find his teammate though. The ball comes back into a pack of players, a hurried kick comes out toward Ross of North Melbourne, it's running out toward the half back line, Ross gets a very quick hand pass, got one for his corner too I think at the same time, it's been lost out there, North uh, fall of Collingwood picking up. He's going in toward the centre of the ground now, and the mark has been spilled out there by Bolton. He recovered quickly enough, but now Ross of North Melbourne gets it moving again, and the umpire set a free kick down there, so North Melbourne giving away a free kick at the wrong stage when they were going into attack. The ball has come back, and Collingwood now go back into attack from the half-forward zone. Monkhurst in there for Collingwood. Can't get into the action, though, to take the mark. It's forced along the ground. The hand pass came out, and quickly by Bryce. And now 
been moved to the half forward zone. Salvador can't get near it. That was a good piece of work by Partridge to move it quickly. Collingwood now into attack. Well, they will be once he gets rid of the ball. He drives up toward the half forward zone, and it's a oh, good mark man. taken down there. This the big fellow we spoke of Rakoff. before. This is Rakoff. He can kick a goal from there. He's done it on two occasions. No, it was uh, yeah. Rakoff has kicked two goals. He'll just about make the distance because I did say about the way he follows through, Peter. He gets a lot of penetration. Let's see if he does it again. Rakoff with the ball, 50 metres out. And that that one he didn't quite get it, but it's going up toward the goal square. No mark taken in the goal square. North Melbourne under a, a bit of pressure now. They have to defend, and Kerr brings it away from the full back position. A mark was spilt by Scholl. He followed through. They got a hand pass working. The pressure on North Melbourne. They're trailing. Uh, by six points to Collingwood in the under-19s grand final. On the members' wing positions, been tapped out once again by Leser Putty. Been picked up nicely too. And uh, little Red Adder Rose, a free kick, put it up, hopeful for Martin, I would think. The whistle sounds, it might be a 15-metre penalty there. What's happened? The ball has Martin leads, but the ball's kicked higher. Up toward the, or within 30 metres of goal. It's been if not the mark, it would have been a free kick to uh, McGuane. McGuane in the centre. Collingwood about to go into attack again. They lead by six points. McGuane, long kick, but it doesn't go to anyone in particular. And North Melbourne will come out of their defensive zone again through Salvador. Love a hand pass, North, don't they? Yeah, they certainly do. That was Douglas. Douglas up to centre half forward, but there's that man, Brindley, who's been just about Collingwood's best player. He's had 11 kicks, and this one goes onto the wing position, member side of the ground. Looks good like tackle. Brown. That's good tackle. It was That's an excellent good. tackle by Scholl, and Scholl will take the free kick. Yes, the player who had it, uh, Brown of Collingwood, just trying to do that a little bit too much. Couldn't find a teammate in position to give it to, and uh, it was a great tackle by Scholl to rob him of possession. So Craig Scholl putting the ball up toward the half forward zone, and it looks easy for Collingwood down there. That mark taken by Glowry. He's going in toward the centre of the ground, finds a teammate too. Oh, North had a chance oh. to pick it up but couldn't quite get it. They're taken by Brandt. Brandt runs it down to the half-forward zone. Here's a chance for McGuane. He gets it out to Rakoff. Oh. Can't take the mark. Would have had a chance to score there, but the ball's kicked high uh, into the half-forward zone for Collingwood. Now it's gone right out toward the wing position on the outer side. Giving chase out there is Darren Douglas of North Melbourne. He can't gain possession, though. Collingwood a chance through Bolton to take it away. He goes into the half-forward zone, 50 metres out from goal. The ball thumped down uh, by Rizoulikas down toward the boundary line. It's very close. It's full picking up. Moore getting the ball into the, into the goals. Monkhurst and Willocks in the ruck. Over the back was Gasparoni at the MCG right throughout the year. North Melbourne know the feeling. They've been in the last four under-19s grand finals, but they won't give uh, this one away likely. Six points in it, as I mentioned. Bolton in after the ball. Hand pass coming out to Brandt. Brandt moves on and hand passes to Glowry, who in turn gets another hand pass. Collingwood teaming well. That kick off the boot of Stag was smothered. O'Donoghue boots it out towards the bend. Involved in a bit of a fracas. It's been pretty quiet since uh, it's then. It's been very good. Uh, I think that they've been told to get hole 36 from got in there. They start punching the tribe out of each other. <laughs> <laughs> Some of them know what the feeling is like to play in front of a good crowd too, Jack, because I noticed uh, when I was doing the team list last night. And especially to get them in front of a big crowd, that's a... Uh, a big thing in itself. Oh, oh that was a great mark. mark over the back there. Beautiful mark indeed. It's been taken by Frank Lezaputty. Now he's on the wing position out of sight. He's going into the half forward zone. Douglas sets himself for North Melbourne, but he was underneath the ball. And that's Bridley again doing very well for Collingwood. I would earmark him now as a Collingwood uh, footballer of the future. Brindley's kick not so so good off the side of the boot a little bit. Willocks couldn't take it for North Melbourne. It's a chance now for Gasparoni to move it out, but it wasn't done very well. Now a chance for Rizulicus to move it out. He did so too. He gave it over to Lamont, who's playing very well. He gets it down to O'Donoghue. A chance for Collingwood, though. The ball bounces uh, against them, really. Munker's got a hand pass into McGuane. McGuane straightens up, shoots at goal. Is it on? I think it is. It's a goal. Good teaming there by the Collingwood players. And that could have been a push in the back, and that's the way the umpire saw it. Against Glowry, it'll be taken by Craig Scholl. Just on the attacking side of centre-half back. Drives it up over the centre square. Oh. Two hands, but uh, didn't come off that time. Ross paddles it out. There's three or four Collingwood players around it. Partridge is one of them, and Smith got an accidental foot in the mouth there from Ross, but uh, didn't seem to affect him too much. A few commentators have had boot in mouth, but not foot in mouth. 
Quite right. 9 7, playing 7 7. Collingwood leading North Melbourne. The time clock getting toward the 20, or just over 23 minutes have gone in the third term now, so North will have to get a hurry on. Down toward the goal square it travels. Oh, could have been a free kick North's way, but the umpire said no. That was Bolton getting a hand pass out, and the Brindley once again getting the ball moving up towards Stag. He couldn't handle it properly. Now he picks it up nicely out there is Krasiska. His hand pass going out towards Stag. Stag on centre wing. On the outer side of the ground, the left foot kick in toward the half-forward zone, but North's defence stands up. It's been taken by O'Donoghue. He moves it into the centre of the ground. Two against one, or it could have been the free kick in North's way, but it's been taken there by Moore. Moore moving into the half-forward zone, and Collingwood could have gone back and sit, taken a shot. Bolton, but he's found a teammate in four, and Collingwood moving the ball much better than North Melbourne. They seem to have much better skills at the short-passing game, and... Uh, they're going to take this shot at goal now through Greg Fall. North making an interchange, I see. Coming on is Holmes, and coming off it appears to be Douglas. It is for North Melbourne, but let's get back to the man with the ball, Greg Fall. He's had seven kicks now, and that one, very important one, a goal. So, a good piece of work, Collingwood. He got the tap. Good one, too. Grab was Schwoss. Ball goes forward for North Melbourne in a hurry, and it's out to Martin. Now, can he get the bounce of the ball? He slows up, picks it up. He was well grabbed by Kroll. Ross, tackled with the football by Partridge, and the ball goes over the boundary line. And what's the umpire going to do? I think he's going to bounce it. Umpire Hayden Kennedy called for the ball before it went over the line for a bounce, so it's going to be bounced about 30 metres away from North Melbourne's goal. Out, but they have to gain possession and have the shot at goal. They've been playing now some... George Glary again doing well in the ruck, getting the hand pass along the ground, looking for four who kicked the last goal, but he couldn't do much with it. It's been picked up out there by the North Melbourne player in Clarkson. Now a shot up toward the uh, half back line for, uh, for Swash to take it. He comes in toward the goals, and Ooh. that's a good mark over the top. North Melbourne needs someone like Scholl did then to take that good mark, but can he kick the goal? Craig Scholl. Only uh, you watch this mark of Scholl. He got right up over the top, eyes on the ball. A very good mark indeed. He's had nine kicks, but now can he kick a goal? He hasn't as yet kicked one for North Melbourne. And uh, North Melbourne need it. They're trailing by three goals as Scholl goes forward. And the umpire said, yes, it was a video recorder with features that lead the way. Dual audio heads ensure the highest quality hi-fi stereo sound. Two-speed recording means eight hours from one four-hour tape and NEC's four tape heads give you perfect slow motion and freeze. Compare NEC's range at your retailer. Feature for feature, I reckon NEC's miles ahead. Australia's champion in video. Trying to open up that three goal advantage, which will be a handy one if they can enter the last quarter with that. And the boy with the football is Gavin Brown, right in the centre of the MCG. His kick goes up quickly and it's taken by a new player on the ground in Hicks. Hicks got a wobbly kick up towards full forward. Now, what can they do here? Ball comes over to Murakov, but he's got three opponents taken by Bryce. Bryce got pushed fair square in the middle of the back. Umpire called play on. Ross picks it up. He got a quick hand pass over. It's taken now by Scholl, who's all over the field. Scholl to Salvador, who's been a little quieter in this uh, quarter. And once again, North Melbourne moving away from the member's side of the ground through Booth. Crow all over the back for Collingwood, picks it up. Turns back into the players. Gets a quick kick away now. And he found a teammate, and that was McGuane. McGuane directs play into the centre of the ground. Collingwood, as Jack said before, teaming a lot better. That's Krasiska. Krasiska looking for a player out wide. Two against one. Brandt has it. He tried to snap it around, but all he succeeded in doing was putting it 20 metres into the air. Now Collingwood have another chance. Hand pass coming out. Taken by Hicks. Short pass finds a teammate in Moore and he was nearly going off, but he decided better. And he'll take a kick from 25 metres out from goal. Patrick Moore. He hasn't kicked a goal as yet. But once again has the opportunity of taking Collingwood to this three-goal lead well into the time on period of the third quarter. Moore lining up, 25 metres out. Puts it on its way. It's a good-looking kick off the boot. No mistake there. Moore's first goal. And the Magpies lead by 18 points. Let's check the scoreboard. 11-7, 73 to North Melbourne. Eight goals, 7-55. And he's had 12 kicks more. One of the best players on the ground. 
And again, they moved it very well, Jack. Yep, from the centre bounce, Collingwood can go forward once again. It's been kicked down by Glary to the half-forward zone, just over the 50-metre mark. North Melbourne defending, but they have to get goals. They have to get back into this game. Oh, oh good mark for Brindley again, is it? Yes, I said he's got the stamp of a footballer, this player. And there's Brindley up high to take a good mark. So he certainly, he can he knows what to do with the ball. Kick wasn't as good, though. No, it wasn't. Shaw got a hand pass working. Came to Salvador. Another fine mark, and it will be paid. Yes, that's Martin, is it, out there and way over the half-forward zone. It appears that North Melbourne have made a forward change up there. Good mark to Martin. You'll see this. Now is Martin going back to take a 55-metre shot at goal. That's a good torpedo punt. It's up into the goal square. No mark is taken down there. Rovers required on that occasion, but North didn't seem to have any. Hand pass came away from Smith. Glary's a chance to pick up. He shot a hand pass up to up the field a bit. Taken by Partridge. He moves it on now. And uh, it's been moved up there by Kroll. They're going to play on now. It's Brandt with the ball. 15 metre start. Brings him right up to the centre wing position. Collingwood about to go into attack from this kick. It's Collingwood by three goals. We see them on so often. So we decided that we'd put a little bugging device in the phones, Jack, and just see what they do get up to, and this was the result. Hello? Could I speak to Dr. Edelston, please? Bet 5, winner number 2, paid $1.65 to win, 55 cents the pay. Second number 1, 75 cents. Thank you for ringing dial for New Hope. I'm Jack Edwards. Tell me, what do you do on Sunday? now in the final quarter of the under-19s grand final it's the magpies leading by 18 points going into the last term and a free kick going the way of collingwood straight out of the center and that will be taken by fall up to center half forward but ross is there he quickly plays on shoots a hand pass out it was a little wild but north melbourne able to gather the ball and they go up towards the wing position but collingwood superiority in the air and there's a 15 metre penalty being applied as darren bolton took the mark and the ball was knocked out of his hands so undisciplined play by north melbourne bolton's kick into the pocket one for the rovers went through his legs monkhurst got it hand pass comes out to mcguan he finally picks it up he gets the hand pass over to fall it might have been pretty close to a throw fall has a shot at the goals but he's off target through for one point but that means North Melbourne now have to score four times to overhaul Collingwood. The difference is 19 points, 11 goals, 8. Very well, playing very good football. Driving it up towards the forward line again. Rysulikas at the back. He was grabbed. Umpire said, Hold. up into the centre of the ground. Ball comes to the turf. Ross is the favourite. He picks it up, fumbles it, slips over. North Melbourne not having any luck at the moment. And Collingwood are able to break away. And this player is Bolton. Bolton has a couple of bounces, runs to half forward, his left foot kicker straight down the throat of a teammate in Athos Rysulikas. He's kicked two goals. I think he'll just about make the distance. He'll hit the boot right behind the ball. Rysoulikas. There he goes now. Just off target by the looks of that. There's John O'Donoghue, towering drop punt kick. Oh, great try. <laughs> it was Rysulikas trying to get into the pack. Going the wrong way, too. Rather dangerous practice, but he nearly took the mark. The ball comes out toward the wing position now. Where it's out. I know about that, but they, they would know because they're both experts. There's the hand pass coming out. Now North Melbourne trying to get back into attack through Ross. He puts it up to the half-forward zone. They're all up high. North Melbourne actually flying against each other there, spoiling each other. The ball on the turf. Now it's socket over the boundary. Here by Kroll. Kroll loses possession. North Melbourne chance through Kerr to go forward. It's been picked up by Scholl. Up toward the goal square it goes, but uh, no. Oh, oh, great mark. I was going to say no one home for North Melbourne, but Douglas. One as Markov gets the kick. Up to half forward. Beautifully Judge Mark Greg four. Now the Collingwood forward line pretty open, so four gets it moving quickly. Three or four players going in after the ball. Comes out to Scholl. He's quickly. Tapped out by Monkhurst. They can't get it away. 
uh, cleanly, the North Melbourne defenders. That's Collingwood having the shot at goal, but it's uh, off target. Ross, 40 metres out from goal, puts it on its way, but it's, I think, off target practice out toward the 50 meter mark Ross didn't really take the mark but he comes away with the football on the left foot he goes back toward goal but he's off target can't score from there but a good mark has been taken down there but he's on about a 75 degree angle and this time is no better and again it's so can the magpies stand up to the assault or will the ruse come back this time it's Robbie Kerr breaking the tackle almost his hand pass was ineffective Ross is in after it so is Brown Brown's kick into the middle of the ground. Well First to the football is McWilliam with a good turn of speed. 60 metres out, he drives it right up into the goal square. Now, here's the chance again. This time he's uh, done a bit better, Douglas, but getting his foot to the ball, but he just wasn't able to put it through. And there's a good mark taken out there by Stephen Clark. Yes, it was a good mark. Now, Clark has the ball 50 metres out from goal, looking very much like Douglas, the blonde hair. Douglas is waiting down in the goal square to swoop, but Martin's down there to try and take the mark if the ball drops short. Kick by Clark will drop short too. It's into the uh, goal square. They all fly Drop. high. The Collingwood defenders spoil each other there. The snap at goal is not on target by North Melbourne. The kick was out there by Schwass, but it's taken away by Partridge. He runs the ball around the back pocket, out toward the wing position that travels. The ball with North Melbourne's shoal. He's out there on the half-forward flank wing position, got in, getting a hand pass in now. It's Martin with the ball coming into the half-forward zone, and he found Robbie Kerr. I would think too far out to score. He's 55 metres out from goal, and the breeze uh, would be in his face. But the North will be dependent upon a high mark down around the goal square. Kerr's kick dropping short. No one in short to take it either. Uh, Douglas, oh, it could have been a free kick. I thought he had his hands dragged off the ball. The umpire calls play on, and now we'll see it. Ball out to Lamont. Blind hand pass. Ross was first to the football, but he got a bad bounce, and Brindley was able to pick it up and drive it with a left foot kick. Good but mark. there's a good mark at the back. Umpire called play on. I don't know what he has to do to mark it. Picked up by Gasparoni. He was tackled. Again, the umpire letting play go on. Collingwood play a hell without the football. Three or four free kicks could have been paid there, but the umpires have done a very good job today, so let's not be critical. Off the boot of Scholl. Hicks leads in the race for the ball, picks it up. He's on the outer side. Let's see who the bounce favours. Picked up now by Keating, a new player on the ground. He drives it in towards Glowry. Comes to the turf. North Melbourne get a hand pass going out to Salvador. Salvador's got a loose man out here in Holmes. Holmes is on the wing position. Member side of the ground. Quickly gets around the man on the mark. Drives it up to centre half forward. His kick was a poor one though. Smith was first to the ball for Collingwood. His kick is intercepted by McWilliam. McWilliam, free kick down the field. McWilliam contacted after he kicked the ball on the mark. In fact, it was touched off the boot. Play on, says the umpire. Collingwood able to drive it back out to the member's side of the ground. They lead in the race for the ball, but it was a shocking bounce, and O'Donoghue was first there. His hand pass comes over the top. Player running around in circles is Salvador. Doesn't know what to do with it. A hand pass wasn't a good one. Put his teammate Clark under the hammer. Ross coming in after the ball, but Bolton was in front, and he can steady it down for the Magpies. Bolton into the centre. Everyone up. No one on the floor. Picked up by Hicks. Hicks kick uh, falls short. And the mark taken by Stephen Maloney, who gets it to Booth with a quick hand pass. Booth goes for a bounce. Wants to drive it long and does. Up to half forward. Flying from the back was Schwoz before acceptances were taken. But standing at the front of the pack was Leza Putty. And he'll have another kick at goal. And this time, he wants to make sure that he doesn't get as close to the man on the mark as he did the previous occasion what's happening peter they're marking the ground and then running back and uh, there's a bad kick by there's a putty and then they're closing the gap on the man coming in to take the shot at goal but well, it's not good thinking by the player in possession that was a good mark taken down there by Francisca. north melbourne having enough uh, attempts to attack but breaking down around about half forward line not getting the ball much deeper than that Francisca getting a hand pass working now and this is a uh, Rizulikas moving the ball around the wing position on the outer side of the ground. Ooh. Could have been a free kick the way of uh, Partridge on that occasion, but it hasn't been paid. Oh, that was a good piece of work there by uh, Bryce coming through into the half-forward zone it goes. North Melbourne's Martin being held, I think, had the ball, but the umpire calls play on. Now a hand pass comes out. It's been taken out by Stagg. Stagg moving the ball in toward the half-forward zone for Collingwood, and now the mark has been taken down there by Glowry. Glary will take this shot at goal from 50 metres out. You want the mark by Glary now. Good steady mark too, getting the ball onto the chest and holding it. They're the best ones to take. Glary with the ball, 50 metres out. 
If he kicks this one, it's just about good night, North Melbourne. Ten kicks. Kicked by Glary, off target, swinging away now. Only one behind, so North Melbourne still live. Very quickly that you were talking about, though, Jack, if they are to have any chance. They've been up there often enough, Peter, but they can't get it. Salvador accepts the hand pass. He's out oh. wide on the half-back flank, and uh, Collingwood just looked too skilled to me, the way they're going about their business. Very workmanlike, but under 19 side. I think they've been very, very well coached by John Burns. There are these two sides who could come in for a senior berth. Yes, I think that Monkhurst, Monkhurst will make it into the senior ranks. This is Salvador going forward for North Melbourne, and I'm very sure that Brindley of Collingwood, I think that's him on screen now. Should be his free kick, yes. I'm very just about positive that he's going to be a league player, this fella, Brindley. And he's had 18 kicks, but he goes about the job very, very workmanlike. He's a good player. And uh, Brown on screen now, going short. This fellow can play too, Lamont. Getting a hand pass into Krasiska. Krasiska well tackled and holding the ball. So Collingwood have got a few uh, bright hopes out there because often they've got players that haven't made it because of injury that could make senior football. But today I thought that Brindley would be about Collingwood's best bet and Lamont also doing well. With North Melbourne getting a hand pass in there. There's a chance for North Melbourne through home to go forward. It's a shot at goal. And North back. No, they're not. In the time, 20 and a half minutes into the final quarter. Lamont under a bit of pressure, but he took a good mark. Left foot kick. Drives it back inboard. Calling a player favoured, but a good spoil by Mark O'Donoghue. Hand pass from Martin back to O'Donoghue. His kick up into the pocket. They're leading out under the football. Crowell knocks it away, comes to the ground, picked up by Scholl. He has a left foot snap at the goals, but again they're off target. And North Melbourne just can't thread it through the centre. 8 13 61 to 11 11 77 in this quarter. North six Melbourne points. have kicked one goal, six. And had they kicked straight, well, they'd certainly be troubling the Magpies. But they're not out of it yet by any stretch of the imagination. It's only 21 minutes gone, and all this attacking they're doing, well, the law of averages says that they've got to kick a goal shortly. Maloney was beaten to the ball by Stagg. Comes out now to Bolton. Bolton's kick along the outer side. Markoff might have got into the back of his opponent. Edged out of it was Booth. Picked up by Keating. Keating's hand pass comes back to Stagg. Stagg breaks away. Looks for a teammate now. The kick is a little bit wide. It's picked up now. And Collingwood through Keys. Finally picks the ball up. Moves onto the left foot. A high kick. It'll land 20 metres out from goal. Collingwood player in front taking the mark is Gavin Brown. So Brown has the chance to really make it difficult for the Kangaroos and the fine mark, the high ball. But he never took his eyes off the ball at any stage, Gavin Brown, and that was an excellent mark. But he's got a difficult task to th uh, thread it through from here. He's about 25 metres out. Seven, seven oh, yes. at three-quarter time and North Melbourne by 8 7 and there's a good goal, or is it? It's going to be very close. It is a goal. 12 11 83. North Melbourne 8 13 61. 22 points the difference, and it looks like a magpie flag coming up as four breaks through centre half forward. He fires a hand pass out, but it wasn't a good one this time. And North Melbourne through Maloney leading in the race for the ball. Maloney out there at half back on the outer side of the ground, receives some good shepherding, drives it long. It's pretty close to the boundary line. Just able to touch it was Glare before it went out. But I think this 22-point margin now is going to be too much for the Kangaroos to overcome. And the Magpies look as though they'll win their first flag in the under-19 since back in 1974. But, of course, Jack, that is a little bit better than their record in the seniors. Yes, I think the uh, Magpie fans would be happy anyhow to see a flag going back to Collingwood. This is uh, Salvador going to take the mark for North Melbourne at half-back. North Melbourne, a bit hand-pass happy, with the ball being worked away from half-back now, out toward Ross on the wing position. He breaks away from two opponents, getting a hand pass back in toward the centre of the ground. North Melbourne trying to move it forward. That they do through O'Donoghue, down to the forward, half-forward flank area. If not the mark paid, it was the free kick, and North Melbourne will take this shot at goal through Holmes. Ross has been a busy player, Jack. He's had 10 kicks and 15 handballs, so a total of 25 possessions. Yes, he's been a busy player. He seems to want to do it at times. Oh, that was a good try. Has it been paid to glare? It has. Ross seems to want to do something with the ball before he actually gets it. That's Bryce taking that mark, very close to goal. He started off down in defence, but he's been moved up into attack. The player, I thought, uh, could have taken a few more marks, but he's got that, that back man's uh, inbuilt uh, asset. Punch the ball away when you're not sure of taking it. But that time he's taken the mark and kicked a goal, so maybe it was a little bit belated, the move for 
drives up in. Monkhead has got the tap from Clark. Moore's in after it, so is Salvador, picked up by Scholl. Comes out to Maloney, he was well tackled by Moore. Collingwood players on top of the ball, umpire blows the whistle and says, I'll bounce it, gentlemen, just wide of the VFL logo on the wing position with, of course, two more big games to come. The Army Reserve Cup starting at about five past 11. Free kick to Collingwood there. And the big one today is between Carlton and Hawthorne, the VFL Grand Final at 2.30. More about to take the kick. And that VFL Grand Final will be seen around the world by approximately 70 million people. Moore's kick is a high one. It's his 15th oh. kick. Oh, flying high. Almost taking a scream of the Collingwood player there. Keating on top of it. That player who flew was Glowry. <laughs> He's disappointed because he knows that would have been a, a corker had he taken it. Most likely like would have been a goal too. I think that's what he was after, more so than just the mark. The ball tapped down, picked up and kicked hurriedly by Leather Putty. And the result, the ball comes back to Stag. Glowry can't do much with it. Gets shot out again. North Melbourne defending through McWilliam. Now the ball's going to be run away across the face of goals and brought to the members' side of the ground. But Collingwood are first to it again. The ball's tapped back. Can't get possession of it as yet. The player down there was doing all that work it was Brown. A chance for North Melbourne now. Hand pass from Clarkson comes up fairly good. Clarkson goes back after himself. But hit a bit high, I thought. The umpire calls play on. The ball with Lamont tries to get it out. Now the big fella and Monkhorst gets it out to Brown. Brown going in toward the half forward flank. And the mark has been taken down there on that half forward flank by Keyes. Keyes goes short. Can't find a teammate. The ball rebounds back to him. He can't. Yes, he's still in there fighting. Tried to get a shot at goal. Couldn't quite do it. There's a chance there for the North Melbourne defenders to run it out and the ball delivered back toward the centre of the ground. It's all Collingwood, though. A difficult mark to take and the mark taken by Bryce. The left foot kick down toward the vacant half-forward flank. No one home for North Melbourne at all. The ball being run out there by Kroll. He picks up, got tackled a bit high, got a hand pass working downfield to Raizu... Rizulicus nearly got it out. <laughs> <laughs> it's been kicked down by Hicks to the half forward flank for Collingwood and it's running itself out of bounds. You had to wait until time on in the last quarter. You've been perfect all throughout the match. <laughs> Two <laughs> minutes to go. And there's the siren. So it's victory to the Magpies, a flag to Collingwood in the under 19s. Collingwood 12 11 83 on the final scoreboard, defeating North Melbourne. Nine goals, 13 67. Joy out of Victoria Park. And the boys celebrating on the outer side of the ground. A Magpie Premiership. Commiserations to North Melbourne. But the margin at the finish, 16 points. And it was indeed a fine victory. 12 goals, 11, 83 at the finish, Collingwood. And they kicked one goal, four in the final term. And of course, North Melbourne added just the one goal. And they finished with 9, 13, 67. Some of the leading stats as we look. At the smiling faces of the Magpies, Brindley for Collingwood, a fine game. 18 kicks, 4 marks and 3 handballs. Gavin Brown, number 2, 16 kicks, 5 marks and 1 handball. Bolton, 13 kicks, 6 marks and 6 handballs. And Lamont had 13 kicks. Uh, he had 7 marks and 11 handballs. But overall, as we say, commiserations to North Melbourne as they come off the ground, Jack. But it was a case today of the best side winning. Yes, Collingwood looked the better side right from the outset, right from the very first punch of the game, but they didn't eventuate really the big blue that we had won before the game started, but then they settled down and played football, which was quite good. And Collingwood can take heart from some of the younger players in that side today. I thought that uh, we've mentioned Brindley before uh, during the call, who played very well, as did Lamont. And I thought the big fella in Monkhurst, the big ruckman, was about six foot six. He mightn't have a lot of pace as yet, but I think he's got a bright future in football. And Darren Bolton played very well, as did uh, Gavin Brown. On the credit side for North Melbourne, they didn't seem to handle the ball as cleanly as Collingwood, uh, but they did try hard. They made a few mistakes, didn't quite get the, the bounce of the ball on a few occasions. And sometimes they had the ball, they were trying to do things with the ball before they actually gained possession of it. I think they have got a fair amount of skill in the side, but they didn't really team up today to uh, take this game out. They had a very good season, only in the finals, really, that they folded. 
but I thought Salvador played well earlier, faded out of the game a bit. Uh, Ross played well. He's one player who seems to be want to do something with the ball before he gets it. He reminds me a lot of Doug Hawkins and players such as, as that and Wilson of Melbourne, but they, they're always thinking ahead. Some days it works, some days it doesn't. But Ross did play fairly well, as did, as did Douglas. Douglas took a few nice marks. He just couldn't kick a goal in the finish. Yeah, I think he kicked three behind in the final term, and he was desperately trying. Martin took a few marks, kicked three goals for North Melbourne and did well. And Bryce, I think, might be a better player in attack than what he was in defence. The stats showed that Collingwood had 216 kicks to North's 191. And the handballs were very even. Collingwood, superior in the air, had 19 more marks. And North Melbourne were favoured in the f uh, free kick department. But still, that didn't make any difference on the scoreboard. And that's the reason why those boys on screen are happy at the moment. Collingwood Premiers in the under-19. And to warm applause from the crowd here at the MCG, which is building up. They do their victory lap of honour. No doubt, happy boys and hoping that that's the start of a great career in football. And for uh, quite a few of those players, I'm sure it will be. In the background, you can see the Carlton banner with the preparations for the Army Reserve Cup. Sandy Roberts, Peter McKenna and Don Scott along in a moment.